So it has been seven years since I've uploaded to my Renoa's in 3D channel. I need to upload more. I've wanted to every single year, but I keep forgetting. Now I finally am. So on my other channel, I'd like to make a video talking about parallel systems, which is, I don't know, some startup. But I was just struck by how people are so negative about it. Like parallel systems, autonomous pot, train pod is an obvious grift. So someone reinvented trains. Sigh again. It really bugs me that people bring so negative that are so popular in, in like infrastructure community and stuff like that. So I would like to make a video talking about it. And I thought, you know what, that'd be kind of neat if I made a 3D model of this thing and had it whizzing down a track. So I found this is the profile of a train track. And we're opening up Blender. I'm sticking with Blender 2.79 because I just don't like 2.8. Okay, so I just got a new graphics card, RTX 2060. It does pretty well. Make sure this is recording right. Yep, it's recording right. Good. Okay, so we have this new world opened up with these two light emitters for the Cycles Render Engine. And that's going to illuminate anything we make. I think, first of all, we should make a train rail. GZ1 to make it go up. Now how big is a train rail? Six and a quarter inches wide on the bottom. Okay. So let's see. Three. Three. Gonna just call it there. And then this goes up. Three eighths of an inch? Yeah, three-eighths of an inch. Okay, so we go something like that. And then this is one and five thirty seconds. Yeesh, that is a fraction. Boy, that is a fraction. And extend this. Hmm, how does that look? One and five thirty seconds. Five thirty seconds. The decimal is 0.15. Okay, so that's something I can deal with. So we have one, one and a half, and then this goes to about that wide. Then we go up to. Oh, there's add another four and five, five thirty seconds. So four point one five. Add another one, two, three, four. Point one five. And this is three inches. S X S X Does that kind of like that? I think it does. And then finally we give 1 and 11 sixteenths. So the entirety of it is 7 inches. Okay, so we're going to go... This is doing inches of course. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. 7 going to bring that in a little bit. Now we are going to add a modifier, add... Oh, it's been so long. Subdivision subsurf. View one. Okay, so now control up arrow. Let's see if I remember this. I'm holding down shift to select all of these. And that as well. Wait, no, I don't want that. Let's see. Sh Shift W? Nope, that's not it. Alt Shift W? Hmm, no. How do you... Edge Crease Subsurf Blender. Shift E. 
Shift E. There we go. Shift E. And since we're only going to have a straight track, I can select all of these. Mm, oh, can I? No, I only want this one and that one, and then these two. Okay. So this, and that, and then this, 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 and then shift E.5. And then one, two, shift E.4. And there we have a train track. Uh, I probably do not want to do these. Shift E zero. Shift E minus one. Shift E minus one. Shift E point two. Pretty good. S Y ten. SY2. SY2, just to be safe. Alright. We'll do that. SY1.5. There we go. Oh, nice. Leave a number. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> it's coming along. Yeah. Um, so, let's see. The track gauge. In the U.S. is five, uh, four foot nine inches, so that's forty-eight, fifty-seven. I had to pull that up just to look at numbers. For me. Fifty-seven inches. So we're gonna have what's fifty-seven divided by two? Twenty-eight point five. So G X point two eight five. Oh no, G X tw two point eight five. Shift E. GX minus 57. Oh, no. GX minus 5.7. GX minus 5.7. There we go. It's pretty good. And then we get... Railroad tie dimensions. How long are we recording? Only eight minutes? Not bad. I've already made it. Okay, so eight minutes and we get... Well, this is not very helpful. Six inches by seven inches by... by... how long? Eight foot six inches. Okay, whatever. Okay, so... Add mesh cube. S. S. X. And then R ninety. S. X. S. X. Plus four, six, eight, nine. Subdivision surface.
<laughs> I'm being lazy with this, but who cares? G. Z. And what's the normal placement? Mm. Oh, this is what I needed most likely. It wasn't tiny. Twenty. Well, it's tiny. I can't read it. And I'll wing it. There we go. Now, we need to add the railroad tie plate. Looks like so. I think I can I can build this without needing anything. Add mesh cube. S Y S X. S S Z.
Oh my god, I hate when it does this. There we go. I'm using shift E to pull it out. Shift E. And then cube. Now this is gonna be the railroad this is gonna be the railroad spikes. Oh yeah. I'm going all out on this. I'm gonna make this video. I'm gonna make this file public. I'm gonna put it on a spare Google Drive account, so yeah. anybody watching this video can download it. And also, I've been ra around railroad stuff so much that, as a kid, that I think I can do a good enough job replicating this. Gross. We here. I may have broken it a little bit. Mm, that's odd. The weirdest, oh, the weirdest road spike I've ever seen, but it'll have to do. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of work. Kind of works. Kind of.
you know, I, sh I shouldn't get too bogged down in trying to make this look right because it's 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 going to be going really fast, you know. So time to copy paste, copy paste all of them. Then this one lower. For me. Thanks. Okay, so Shift D, G, Y, minus 9. Shift D, G, Y, minus 9. Delete. Delete. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. I love it. I like it. I like it a lot. It's 600,000 faces, but you know, that's not that bad, actually. Um, I bet this, yeah, this is cool. Um, let's take everything and raise it up a little bit. And then we take, oh, what is going on here? I'm going to save this. Because something weird is going on. Yeah, something weird is going on. Alright, I'm going to stop my... Stop my Dogecoin miner for now. Yeah, so... Save start a file. Exit. I guess it just has so many polygons that it's going to look kind of... Be kind of slow. Well, that's fine. Okay, so... Um, the shame of G G uh, RTX 2060 is a bit slow with, with this, but it is Blender. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so here's the question. Can I make this stuff... Oh, I know. Um... Hmm. I think it's a parent. Okay, so it's parented to the rail now, which I probably should parent it to this ties, but, um. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna join those two together. So it, it moves the whole thing with it. Now, let's see if, uh. If we can copy paste these. That's the law.
Oh, what's going on? Yep. Oh, it started to render. What the fuck? No. End. Solid. That was annoying. It started to render. No. Okay, so now I have a section of track. Hey, how do we do that? How do we call this there for this video? We're at 27 minutes. This is how I made myself some track. And boy, is that some cool, tri uh, quick, half-hour train track. The link's going to be in the description. I'm going to put this onto a Google Drive. Let's see. Save as... No, train track one. And file, save as... Only 3.8 megabytes. Well, that can be shared on the internet. You guys should, go look, should look up the new, new uh, video. Look in the description. And you'll see the, the file there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.